Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm already out of breath and I've said three words. That's a lot more than three. But hi, hello, how are you? Today's video is going to be another day in my life video, but we're doing it a bit more vlog style, mainly just because I'm in the mood to. And today is going to be a bit more work heavy. I get a lot of questions about my job, what I do. This is my job. YouTube is my job and I'm so thankful for that. I have a couple other side gigs that we get into as well, but YouTube is my main job. And today's video is actually sponsored by HelloFresh, which it's because of companies like HelloFresh that YouTube can be my job. And I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful, honestly, to work with a company that I and my husband Bradley truly, truly love. If you don't know what HelloFresh is, it is a meal subscription service that sends you to your door, three healthy, delicious, amazing, satisfying meals a week. They have different plans like classic, veggie, family. Bradley and I are on the classic plan because it's just the two of us for now. Honestly, HelloFresh is something that brings me so much like comfort and just pure joy knowing that it's in the fridge for the end of the day for dinner. They have like a whole arsenal of meals you can pick through for your three meals of the week and they're changing each week and they're just so amazing and all of their options are great. We've tried beef, chicken, pasta, tacos. This week we we got a meatloaf, which I'm really excited to try. And later on tonight, we'll be making a HelloFresh meal for dinner so you can see how it works and all that stuff. But if you're interested in signing up, I do have a coupon code for you guys. It is ALBEAUTY80 to get $80 off your first month, so. But sponsored or not, we absolutely love it. And mainly because, it, and I say this every time I talk about it, but it's like a cooking class in which it teaches me how to do techniques or how to use ingredients that I already love, but just in different ways. For instance, for tonight's meal, we are making creamy dill chicken, which I'm really excited about. I'm also on Weight Watchers, and this whole meal is six points, which I'm really excited about because that's a very Weight Watchers friendly meal. But I picked that because, let's, let's get back to the good lighting. Here we go. <laughs> but I picked that because I love chicken, but also I love dill. I have an abundance of it growing in my garden, so I saw a chance at making something with dill, something that I can make over and over again, and so I wanted to try it. And plus I knew I would like that. I feel like this is zoomed in, is it not? Nope, now we're zooming in, now we're zooming in. Oof. But yeah, we will get into a HelloFresh like meal prep cooking later. But for now, just wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored, so thank you HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh, I'm so excited to be working with them. But yes, like I said, it is a work heavy day, specifically a YouTube work heavy day. If I had time today, I'd wanna work on my Etsy, but I am probably not going to. God, how do people vlog? My arm hurts so bad. <laughs> if I could get all I wanted to do today done, well, I do a lot of things, but realistically, on my to-do list today, I have two, vid two videos to film. Well, three if you're counting this day in my life, but these are like kind of fun and easy to film because it's just bringing you along on what I'm already doing. So it's like less pressure. But the two videos I want to film are a spring empties video. I know you guys love empties videos and a Mickey mini ear collection. I know that video won't be for everybody, but I get a lot of requests for it. And I thought it would be kind of fun, especially because I get a lot of questions about like, the stories behind each of the pairs of ears I have. So I feel like that would be a fun video to do. I don't know. So yeah, I would like to film those two videos and I would like to edit my April favorites. It's May 7th and my April favorites video is not live. And I'm so sorry about that. I got way behind on work because I accidentally took two weeks off <laughs> and I am still catching up. So I really wanna film that video. It will be up either today, by the time you see this, it will be up, but just like I'm behind on my life and I gotta get it together. Also another one of my jobs is I'm a Young Living distributor. Now that kind of happened on accident. I just genuinely fell in love with the oils, started talking about them, you guys buy through me and you know, other people buy through me. And now it's like a whole little side business. And speaking of, there goes the good lighting. <laughs> I just did what I like to call a diffuser tour, which is where I go around the house and fill up all of the diffusers. So I thought I would take you on the diffuser tour as well and show you what I put in each of my diffusers. So we are now in the bedroom. I have my lights on already because I am about to film and I should say, this is not in the morning. This is almost 1.30 p.m. This morning I woke up, obviously. I ran out the door to get to a Pilates class. I've been really bad at working out lately. I'm really trying to like get on track with Weight Watchers, working out, getting back into the swing of things before the wedding because that's kind of after the wedding is when the pressure fell apart and I fell apart, <laughs> but we're getting back on track. So I did that, I got ready. I did my makeup, which I did a time lapse of, which I'll enter in here and then we'll do the diffuser tour.
Did you enjoy me putting on my makeup? I bet you did. Um, so as I was saying, it's 1.30. I had a late breakfast. I had it at like 11 o'clock, so I don't need lunch quite yet. In which I've already planned out my points for the day, and that dinner from HelloFresh was a lot less points than I thought, so I think I have enough points to have my favorite Costco taquitos for lunch, which that's a good day right there. <laughs> but I have a diffuser in here, and in here I've been liking grapefruit and lavender. Lavender is my favorite for in here like pretty much all the time, but it's been a new thing for me to diffuse grapefruit with it during the day. Grapefruit, one of my all-time favorite oils, one day I decided, hey, let's mix these two together, and I love the way it smells. It's very like, I like to keep the bedroom smelling pretty like relaxing and calm, but the grapefruit just adds a nice like day effect to it. So I have my desert mist going in here, um, and I wanted to get that going because I'm going to be filming in here today, and I like to have that in the background just because it looks pretty. Like I said, I already have my lights on for filming. I need to add a pretty candle and maybe a plant in the background. Then in the bathroom, I have wintergreen going. Wintergreen has been my favorite like during the day bathroom scent. I love eucalyptus for at night, but this just like smells really fresh, really clean, and stays pretty powerful for like the entire four hours that that will run. So got wintergreen. And also I'm sorry about the lighting today, but it's really gloomy outside. It was raining a little bit this morning, um, which I'm not complaining. I know that any, any day now the California heat will strike and I will want to die. So I am enjoying the cool breezy open the windows weather for now. And then in both of my living room diffusers, I have one here, Desert Mist. And then I have the Dew Drop over here, which I love them both, but the Desert Mist is definitely my favorite. I got Citrus Pet, mm. I got Citrus Fresh pumping in both of those. And then in the office, like, oh, I don't even wanna show you. Also, the trash needs to go out, but I'm too lazy. And this office, you guys, it is a work in progress, I will say. It looks, I can't believe I'm showing you this. This makes me cringe. But we have made a lot of progress because we have a chair! Let me move the bubble wrap out of the way. We got this chair from Cost Plus World Market. I love it, it was an incredible deal. If they still have it, I will link it down below. But I love it, and it's really comfy. And if you watched our, um, like, home apartment tour, you would have seen that we had a bunch of crap over here. I got my old computer. This is my cheer box that I refuse to get rid of because look at that. Hello, this is the greatest cheer box of all time. Yes, I graduated in 07. I'm old. But we had a bunch of storage bins. We had an exercise bike. We had a bunch of crap over there. So we are making progress. It's just slow and I've been really busy. So I'm hoping to have some time to work in here tomorrow. Um, we did take the vacuum off the wall. We're gonna find somewhere else for that. It's just a mess in here, but it's a work in progress. I got this new pretty frame, which you saw in my home hall, which I wanna put there. Just a lot to do. But the whole point of that, <laughs> I'm diffusing bergamot in here in the dew drop. So that was the point of that. So now I'm going to set up to film, which I'll do a little cutie time lapse of that, of me setting up the lights and everything. And then I'll, I'll kind of show you what I use to film because that is kind of a common question. Ooh, because that is kind of a common question. And I love all the stuff I use to film. And besides the camera, everything's super affordable. Well, the ring light is not affordable, but I hate the ring light. I'll explain that once I set it up. But for now, let's get set up. set up to film. I have the diffuser and a little planty lights on. My little amazing four wick candle that I'm obsessed with. It's from DW Home. I tried to find it online and I couldn't. Also when I film I just shove all the Bradley stuff on his little cajon there because I don't like the way it looks in the background. Also I should take down Mr. Toad. <laughs> But I have my pile of mini ears, which I'm so excited to film this video because these make me so happy. This is like a really colorful, beautiful shot. So I'm doing the mini ears one first, then I'll do the empties because the empties is more of a priority. And if I film the empties, I might be like, oh, I'm not in the mood to film anymore, but I want to get both of them done. So I'm getting this one out of the way first. But here are the lights that I like to use. Now, I am substituting a ring light today because I did drop one of my light bulbs and it completely shattered and it was a big old mess and that was actually a while ago i just keep freaking forgetting to get more i thought i was going to get rid of these lights because i didn't have anywhere to store them i now store them in my closet the only reason i wanted to get rid of them was because they were too big and i didn't have anywhere to put them but now i do and i love these lights so these are by I'm not even sure, oh, here we go. Limo Studio, I got them on Amazon. Just, they have one setting, so they're not super fancy, but they work just fine, so I just turned it on. It's 
quite bright. I got them on Amazon for like 70 bucks for two. They break down really easy as you saw me putting it up. And I do have to buy a new light bulb, but that's like under 20 bucks. I just am not a fan of ring lights personally. Number one, I have nowhere to store it. So it's always out in the open and that drives me insane. But two, I just prefer the look of like bigger lights better. So let me turn off this light because it's messing with my vlogging. And then here we have my fabulous new camera. I got the Canon 80D. I got it from Costco. They were having an incredible package deal in which you got two lenses, a big bag, two batteries, an SD card, the camera. Like it was a great package deal for less than just the camera is at like Best Buy. So, and I am loving this camera mainly for the auto focus like that is life-changing for me you guys watch my videos you know that I have tr issues with focus all the time like I'm having right now but I am loving this camera so I will link it down below I'm also just kind of taking the time to learn more about this camera because I have a lot of problem with white balance I think because my walls are more of a taupe color than they are white so things tend to look yellow um, so I'm learning about how to do that and I just want to like take my time maybe a, a few hours a week to just read or watch videos or learn how to like properly use this because it could do so much so I'm really excited and the two new lenses that came with it they're the STM ones so they are quiet when they autofocus because that was a thing for a while that you could hear the camera lens autofocusing so I'm really excited about that I do need to go get an SD card um, but other than that I'm just going to film this video I'll check back in before I film empties but yeah I just filmed my ears haul which i thought turned out really cute but i had a costume change i don't always film two videos in a day but when i do i like to change it up because nobody wants to stare at you in the same outfit twice i don't know but yeah bradley's on his way home uh i just threw in my taquitos in the oven it's like three o'clock and i haven't eaten lunch so i threw those in there and i'm all set up to film my empties you guys look how many oils i've used up since my last empties video which was like in january that's nuts. And they're mostly citrus fresh, but this is a huge like spoiler sneak peek because I don't think this video is up yet. I've started like planning out my videos like on a calendar. If I can get my crap together and stick to my schedule, it'll be up in a couple of days. But yeah, I'm going to go film that right now and then hopefully still have time to edit. I mean, I have all the time in the world. It's just, well, I have the will to edit. <laughs> all right, I'm all done filming. I've already changed back into my PJ shirt. Oh, I chipped a nail. Well, it's okay, I'm done filming. So this is the aftermath of an empties video. I just throw things on the floor as I'm filming. But yeah, I still have to film close-ups, but Bradley's home. Let me grab my water. And my taquitos are ready, so I'm gonna go eat those first. <laughs> Honey? Hello? We're vlogging today. Are we? The man, the myth, the legend, Bradley James. I'm none of those. You're... I'm a man. <laughs> How was your day at work? Uh, it was fine. What are you doing? You're blurry. I just watched the new Spider-Man trailer, which I hadn't seen. You didn't watch that yesterday? I meant to, forgot. Oh my god. But it's, uh, it's, it's fine. It's oh, cool. I thought it was cool. It's, I don't know, it's cool. What, what, like, made you excited in it, though? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna go to Costco now. If I go with that, should I vlog my trip to Costco? Yeah, you should. I know you would love me to. Do it on your phone. Okay. All right, everyone, let's go to Costco. some shots of me in Costco but just like being in public I'd be filming and people would turn around and I'd like get embarrassed I was filming like I don't want them like weirded out that I'm filming them I was in there for like 10 minutes but uh got toilet paper got uh paper towels got some strawberries and got some beer I like their Kirkland beer because that thing's 20 bucks for 24 beers and they got a variety you know if you're in the mood for an IPA or a Pilsner or something they got everything for you to try but we desperately needed toilet paper, which is why I went by myself because we've been doing the trashy using uh, tissues for toilet paper for the last day or two because we were out. But uh, Costco was a success. Missed you, Amy. Yeah, it didn't feel much because it's awkward to push a cart, grab stuff off a shelf and film at the same time. So didn't get much footage, but back home. So it's a few hours later. Finished my filming. I just edited for a couple hours. I did get my video finished, like edited, but I didn't upload it and all that crap. I just had some crackers and I feel like you could see it in my teeth. What was I saying? And it's dinner time. So we are going to click over into voiceover mode because I feel like I'll be able to like tell you how to cook better with voiceover. But we're making creamy dill chicken with 
roasted potatoes and asparagus. Yum. Bradley's excited. Yum. <laughs> um, and so this is kind of how it works. Everything comes to you in these bags. Go ahead and unpack that bag, my babe. So the cool thing about HelloFresh is everything comes individually like portioned. We have sour cream. It's not focusing, but everything's in these tiny little packets, which makes it really great because like I might never use Dijon mustard again. So it's nice that they just send you as much as you need. But yeah, so I'm excited. This looks like a pretty simple recipe, but something if we like that we'll make over and over and over, which we've done with several recipes from HelloFresh that we love. So yeah, let's get cooking. All right, so we are starting by prepping all of our veggies. So he's just cutting off the ends of the asparagus and then throwing those onto a baking sheet. And we have these silicone baking mats if you're curious as to what those are. I love them. I'll link them down below. But we're just going to evenly spread those out. And then I am going to cut up the potatoes into little half inch kind of cubes. If there's something HelloFresh does incredibly well, it's potatoes. I always love their potato recipes and I'm learning so much about like how I like my potatoes cooked. So um, yeah, so I'm cutting these up into half inch cubes, which is now my new favorite way to have potatoes. And then once I'm done cutting those up, I'm also gonna move them over to a baking sheet. We also chopped up the dill at this point as well, but we're just putting the potatoes out on baking sheet, seasoning with olive oil, salt, and pepper. All HelloFresh asks you to provide is olive oil, salt, pepper, and butter, which is really cool. So we're seasoning those up, tossing them just with um, our hands, and then you lay them out. And these are going to go to the oven for like 20 to 25 minutes until they're tender and you do need to pull them out and toss them halfway. And then we're going to do the same exact thing with the asparagus, just olive oil, salt, and pepper. Roll that around to get everything coated and then we're going to pop those in the oven as well and those cook for 10 to 12 minutes. So as all the veggies are cooking, we are going to start the chicken. So we have a oiled pan and we're just putting the chicken breasts in there. And this was a really like simple yet delicious meal that I honestly can tell you we'll be making all of the time because it was just simple but fancy with the dill sauce. So yeah, we're just cooking up those chicken breasts, not frying, searing up those chicken breasts. And then all of our veggies were done. So the potatoes and the asparagus. I'm not much of a fan of asparagus, but Bradley loved it. So, but it does, it's a nice shot if you'll take a look at that. So there's the asparagus and the potatoes were all done. And once the chicken was ready, we just needed to make the sauce. And we made the sauce in the same pan that the chicken came out of. So basically the sauce is sour cream, chicken stock concentrate, dill, Dijon mustard, two tablespoons of water, and salt and pepper. And it didn't want you to put on any heat, just the heat from the pan would cook it enough. If it wasn't thick enough, I would say turn on the heat just to reduce it a little bit. But yeah, we just put everything into the pan. I added the dill after I added all the liquids. And then I'm just whisking it until it becomes kind of, not thick, but it, it asks for it to be a drizzle consistency so you can drizzle it over your chicken so yeah i am just whisking that up adding dill in as i go to see how much dill i wanted which i love dill so it turns out i wanted a lot but yeah once it thickens up that's it you're just going to pour it over your chicken which also first you need to you don't need to but we slice the chicken breast up first and you can put the sauce over just the chicken or over your entire plate me and bradley tended to put it over the entire plate because it was so good but yeah, you just spoon drizzle it over whatever you want. It's kind of like a gravy, but fancier. And then put dill over the top. And it was so good, you guys. I can't stress enough how much I love HelloFresh and how much it teaches me. And I think it turned out pretty picture perfect. Okay, taste test. Is it good? Really good. I've already tried the potatoes. It's amazing. And the sauce is amazing. It's a really like simple dish, but it's that sauce that makes yeah. it. Yeah. It tastes like a steakhouse sauce mm. and something we can totally remake because we usually have all those ingredients yeah. on hand. Hey guys, I'm fresh out of the bath and I haven't mentioned this, but it's Tuesday and Tuesdays are our new favorite days because we're obsessed with the Fosse Verdon show on FX. I love Fosse! We are obsessed. We never miss it on Tuesdays. Like we don't even let it carry over. I usually fall asleep pretty early, but on Tuesdays I am wide awake because I am ready for Fosse Verdon and it's time. There's eight episodes and today, tonight is episode five, I think. If you liked the Versace show and the OJ show, you will like the Fosse show. I'm all tucked into my um, 
Don't freak, it's faux blanket, and I'll link it down below. But it's my favorite blanket. Bradley, you wanna come say goodnight? Goodnight. Beer in hand that you got at Costco today? I did. This is perfect timing, my battery's dying. They saw me get it at Costco today. Oh, you yeah, came you along with me. Yeah, I, did. I know. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Nope, happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Till tomorrow. Till we're not vlogging again tomorrow. But okay, we are going to wrap up the vlog here. Watch Fosse probably go to bed after yes. that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. We love HelloFresh oh so much. Look at that. Ooh, my fiddle leaf. Oh, you stopped filming me and showed the plant. <laughs> I got excited about the plant. But yeah, I'll have the info for HelloFresh down below. Good night, you guys. I hope you have a great night and a great day, whatever time you're watching this. And I love you. Bye.